Hey everybody, it's Bob with DITV. I'm sitting here interviewing Dr. Deborah Barnhart from, where are you from, De Deborah? <laughs> I'm at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama. We are the official visitor information center for the NASA Marshall Space Flight Center, where we're building America's next great spaceship. Holy cow, that sounds amazing. <laughs> it's phenomenal. <laughs> so what types of things do you guys do there? Well, we're the official visitor information center for NASA. Because everyone can't go out and see everything that's going on at NASA, we do the bus tour so the public can go and see what's going on at NASA. We also are the largest collection of space hardware in the nation. The Smithsonian has more aircraft, but we have more space hardware than any other place in the nation. So in you're fact, sort of like a museum. We are a very large museum, open to the public, 362 days a year. And we are the home of the largest object the Smithsonian owns, which is, of course, the Apollo Saturn V moon rocket. Oh, ho, ho. So, so I imagine it takes a lot to take care of all that legacy equipment, to be informing the public about the history of just, you know, our adventures into space. But you also mentioned um, that you guys do more than just be a museum. We do. We are also the home of U.S. Space Camp. You know, the original German rocket team that built the Saturn V to take us to the moon was run by a gentleman named Dr. Werner von Braun. And he brought several rocket scientists from Germany after the war, and they joined with the American scientists and built the rocket that took us to the moon. Well, one day he was walking through our rocket park. We have the whole history of rockets in our park. And he was walking through that park and he said, you know, we've got football camp and band camp and cheerleading camp. Why can't we have a space camp? So space camp was born in 1982. We've had almost 700,000 graduates. Now, not that our point is to make astronauts out of every graduate, but we happen to have five astronauts who are graduate. And one of them is Commander Samantha Christopher Reddy, who's on the International Space Station just as we speak. Wow, that's amazing. It's a phenomenal program. So so you sound very passionate about this and that you get a lot out of it. What what do you get out of all of the activities that you're doing and how do you think it relates to some of the DI spirit that you're seeing here today? Yeah. DI and Space Camp is all about realizing human potential. I'm not there to make astronauts. I'm there to inspire people just as DI inspires all of us with all of the activity here. We're here to inspire people to be all that they can be in their life. Whatever your field of interest, we want you to flourish and to grow and to explore the full realm of that and to become all that you can be in your lifetime. Goodness. Deborah, even just a few minutes talking with you, I am ready to blast off. Let's go. And take care of whatever I need to do and, and be passionate about it. Thank oh, you so much for stopping by pleasure. and talking to pleasure. You're us. not too old for Space Camp. Space Camp goes from 7 to, so far, 92. Although I have a woman who's 100 who said she'll come. So it, it's never too late for Space Camp. That'd be great. Maybe you'll see me in Huntsville. I hope we will. All right. Thank, thank you, you so much My for pleasure. coming by. Thank you for yep. your time. Yep. And check out more on DITV at globalfinals.org.